What's up guys, it's Jay here from TV Time with Jay and I'm back once again with another review for you guys and this time I'm here to review Legacies Season 3 Episode 2, Goodbyes Sure Do Suck. Now, as per usual with my episode reviews, I'll be recapping the events of the episode and then going over my thoughts and feels about the different plot points all throughout. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, do yourself a favor, watch the episode first and then come back here and tell me your thoughts and feels in the comments down below because I will be going into spoiler territory. You have been warned. Okay. So, first things first, before I start talking about the episode itself, recapping the events and such, uh, I want to talk about why this episode felt so weird and why last week's episode felt so weird. Because I got a lot of people, you know, talking about the episode in the comments and complaining how it felt weird and it was off that they started off this, you know, season with a just a random episode of the week type thing. And uh, that just didn't give the right vibe for like a season start and some people thought it was boring and you know didn't like it and I completely understand that because you know if you don't act, if you don't follow like the show's production and you don't follow what's going on with the show behind the scenes and stuff you might not be aware of the fact that uh, you know the first few episodes of this season are actually the episodes that were originally intended to be in the back half of season two uh so technically last week's episode was supposed to be a part of season two um and you could especially feel that with this episode right here because this feels definitely like a late in the season type episode and uh it felt really out of place being in the beginning here for sure and I don't know, it just, it just felt kind of weird, especially with, like, how hyped I was that, like, you know, they, they, you know, revealed that whole thing with Raph. If you haven't seen my review of last week's episode, I'm about to drop a spoiler that pretty much, you know, spoils the big reveal at the end. Uh, so, either, you know, skip ahead or, you know, just wait uh, or just click up here for the card for my la review from last week. I'll have that annotated up there uh, once this goes up. But anyway, so yeah, the spoiler alert, I guess, just in case you still haven't seen last week's episode, uh, Raphael was revealed to be a descendant of King Arthur and is able to wield Excalibur. So I thought that was going to be huge. You know, you, it's a connection to Arthurian legend, one of the most rich and, um, you know, established, um, more modern mythologies of especially, you know, the Western part of the world. So I was like, okay, this could be cool. We are finally given Raph something to do. And then we get this episode where the necromancer pulls some bullshit and basically uses a loophole to cause what, to undo the life he gave back to Raph and essentially do to Raph what he did to Chad, right? So now Raph has kind of a, a limited amount of time before he eventually dies again. And so, Raph is kind of taking it in stride and is like, alright, look, uh, if Hope can't find a way around this, I'm just gonna, you know, spend time with the people I love and, you know, go out happy, because I'm not trying to just make everybody sad. And, you know what? I really appreciate that angle from Raphael as a character, right? Like, he's always kind of been the heart of the group. I mean, I know, like, a lot of different people can say like Raph didn't really do much but if you notice like other than MG who was definitely you know a solid piece of the super squad himself a Raph is the one that everybody loves everybody gets along with Raph is everybody's boy so you know Raph dying it hurts everybody but he being the person that he is is like no 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 I don't want y'all to be sad. This isn't a funeral. This is a party. Roast me. Talk about some stupid shit that I've done all throughout the years that you will never forget. You'll always remember me for. Because that's the thing, right? I'm a firm believer in the whole, you know, Coco philosophy of you don't really die until no one remembers you anymore. Um, and as long as the people you love remember you, you're always going to be, be around. You're always going to be alive. And, you know, I'm sure with how... COVID and this whole world circumstance has been plenty of people have lost people just all throughout like last year and I'm sure even this year as well 
So I feel like even though this episode was out of place, it still feels kind of potent, right? Uh, given circumstances. Uh, but I still feel like it's weird that they, they decide to, to write Raph off after they set him up with this like kind of power-up-esque kind of thing. And it's like, well, shit, what do I do here? Damn. But I do like that, you know, Raph, at the end of this, he got closure. He got what he wanted finally. You know, his whole life, he just had landed and he's always looked for a family. And he found that family in the Salvatore school for sure. But then eventually he got to meet his dad and now he gets to meet his mom and they get to he gets to finally have a family um, in the prison world. And I think that's really fucking cool. Uh, it's a nice way to have him here, but also not completely have him off the table. I do not believe this is the last we've seen of Raphael. And uh, I gotta say, man, it, it, it breaks it breaks my heart. And then we also have a big revelation that uh, Landon is no longer a phoenix, or at least it appears he is no longer a phoenix. And so he is now fully mortal and I actually really understand where Landon is coming from right uh, he feels like he kind of lost what made him belong here and also Hope treated him more like a pet than a boyfriend when before she found out that he was immortal and unkillable because you know with every power Hope has under the sun she is damn near close to being immortal um, but, you know, with that, she, he knows that she's gonna, like, he's gonna treat, she's gonna treat him like he's this fragile kind of, like, just, I have to constantly protect you, and Landon's like, no, that's not how I want to live. I promised Raph that I would live, you know, all in with this last life. That means I'm not going to just hold myself back. I'm going to do as much as I can for as long as I can as long as I'm here and again I respect that mentality and you know what he's actually right in this regard right like I think definitely think that's how hope would treat him and so like I think this time apart will give them each kind of time to grow and develop themselves as people because I mean that's the thing right one of the things that I don't like about YA television um, and like you know YA stuff in particular is they heavily push this whole concept of end game right and that's not how relationships work you don't you don't just find one true love and then stick with them forever right you you have to experience heartbreak and sure you can sometimes find that one and then uh, you know eventually come back but like you should not just stick with one person you should go around and experience and find out what you like and then if that person is meant to be you'll eventually come back and I feel like that's what's going to happen with Landon and Hope right like sure you know right now they're not together but once they're both matured enough and they kind of figure themselves out I feel like they'll get over their issues and eventually you know get together I mean I'm not saying I don't ship them because I do like the ship but I don't think Hope is quite ready for the relationship in the same way that Landon is, right? So, like, she has some growing to do, and I'm sure Landon has some things to figure out on his own now that he kind of has just one finite life again. So that's going to be really interesting to see going forward with his character. I think it's going to be really cool seeing where that goes. Uh, next week's episode is uh, Salvatore the Musical, so basically it's TVD the Musical, so I'm interested in that. This was actually the last episode uh, they were filming before they had to shut down production so i'm interested to see how this episode you know finally came together so we'll have to see uh, again i'm kind of giving these first handful of episodes of this season a pass because most of these that are going to be in the beginning are actually just left over from season two i don't know exactly how many of these are left until we actually get into the stuff that would be season three proper but i think it's only like four Right, so the next four episodes or so, something like that. Don't quote me, I'm not like an expert or an insider or anything, but uh, that's just what I remember uh, from reading tweets from Julie and um, some other people who are, you know, behind the show. So, yeah, 
overall, I thought this was a good episode. Um, I'm sure Raph will be back, but uh, in the meantime, I'm very interested to see you know where this all leads for everybody else. I am glad that they brought back uh, the cop chick um, for uh, you know to be more involved with the cast again. Uh, I liked that she helped kind of reel Raph's mom back in, and you know. I personally just, I don't like Rick as a character, but, you know, I think she will add something interesting to the dynamic going forward. Uh, I still think he needs to stop with all this underhanded, shady-ass shit, but we'll have to see what happens from here. Overall, a uh, good episode, but let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to leave this video a like, so let me know you enjoyed it. And if you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, in the outro card, I will leave links to my uh, review of last week's episode of the Legacies in case you missed that. And a video YouTube series algorithm links you might like. But until next time, I will catch you next Thursday for another Legacies review, but I also do review other great TV shows. Uh, that are slowly but surely coming back so just you know wait on them to return and i will definitely be here to cover them if you like tv this is definitely the place to be so like i said hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video but until next time i've been jay from tv time with jay and i compel you to please subscribe and come back next time for my next legacy review until next time peace <laughs>